she likes to dance yeah. all by herself. She's a party girl. Good morning and welcome to Vlogmas Day 5. How has it got to Day 5 already? <laughs> I'm back. I'm in my mum's car. I'm in my mum's car. I'm about to eat a sandwich because I've barely eaten all day and it's now like quarter past three. My hair looks the rankest it's ever looked. But I forgot my hat. But we just went in, into B&M and did a bit of a shop. And ew, I've got a double cheese and onion mayo sandwich. I'm excited. The journey wasn't too bad, but because it was earlier than we've been used to. We were both knackered, but I did some more editing. I need to edit when I get back. Oh, there she is. Did hey. you get a trolley without using my thing? No. I didn't give it me back. That's rude. It's stuck in there. I can't see it even. Oh well. It's lost and it was one with my name on it as well. There she is. All sad. All sad. Good morning, friends. Excited that I'm back. I suddenly got a cheese bone. What is that, Sunny? Oh, is it a cheese bone? Have you got a cheese bone? Oh, it's making you bleed. No. Uh, here's the tree. And there is my advent calendar. Da, 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 da. Doesn't it look fabulous? Why I'm excited. Wendy's here, somewhere. <laughs> there. Um, this is the, it's heavy. This is the medium sized body shop calendar. Is it? The medium one? No, it's the big one. No, the big one is like 140 pounds. Oh, right, yeah, it is a medium one. Yeah, this is the medium sized one, so it's 80 pounds. I don't know how much, like, like, it's worth, like, all the stuff inside it. Do you know? Did it tell you that? Uh, it probably did, but I can't remember. It's very cute. Like the box and everything is really sweet. I need to now find this. It's like got like little drawers on it, and I have five boxes to open. So that's number two. So I'll get that one out. Oh, some of these are big boxes. So number one, it looks like a hand cream. This Christmas, we're celebrating the people who selflessly care for others all year round. For the next twenty-four days, let's join them and share the selfless love. Share that selfless love with the world. Oh, that's sweet, isn't it? I feel like it's a hand cream. Is it a hand cream? It is. The Body Shop Share Hand Cream. Yummy. Very exciting! Number two says, Unite your neighbours by coming together to decorate a tree down your road or street. That would be cute, wouldn't it? Yeah. If you just went and decorated a tree. It's also got it in French on the other side. Is the body shop a French brand? Yeah. Yes! The strawberry lip butter. Oh, it's the butter as well, not just the balm. I want to see if it's the strawberry body shop scent is one of my favourites. Mmm. I think these are the best things for around Christmas because you always get like dry skin and chat lips and stuff. Number three. Oh, look, it's a family gathering. <laughs> Oh, would you look at that? Look at everyone. <laughs> oh, what's this? It says, write five notes with random compliments. Now leave them in unexpected places like train and bus seats or at a colleague's desk to share some love. Oh. The British Rose Shower Gel. You're going to love that one, aren't you? This is I haven't actually smelled this rose one, I don't think. Mm. I love rose. This one's number four. Number four is a big one. Know somebody who selflessly cares for others, offer to make them dinner for a week. I'm not a very good cook, so I don't think it'd be a very nice idea. <laughs> oh, it's a sheet mask. Vitamin E quench sheet mask. I've never tried one of the body shop face masks before. And then number five. Message five people in your phone book. Phone book. 
and tell them why they're so awesome. <laughs> awesome! Oh, I can smell it. I can. What is that smell? Chamomile. Sumptuous cleansing butter, as in like face cleanser. Mm. Suitable for sensitive skin. Oh, this smells chamomile. Chamomile, chamomile, chamomile. Mm. Bet that'll last for ages as well. We love that. That's quite a good size product for like an advent calendar. I'm impressed. Hopefully now I'll be able to keep up with them day by day. I'm now gonna have to try and fit these boxes back in. But it felt weird not opening an advent calendar because Lucas opened them all, but he gave me half of each chocolate that he was getting. Oh, that's sweet. So that's everything I got so far. As you see, I just made my tea. I've got, I don't know why I started eating when I was gonna speak. I've got scrambled eggs on like an oat toast with ketchup <laughs> and crispy garlic mushrooms. I have brought the ketchup up with me as well because I wasn't sure I'd put too, much, too little on. But I am being naughty and eating my tea upstairs because I need to edit my vlog and it's gonna take me a while it's currently quarter past seven so we will see how long it takes me to edit this vlog i've got myself a little editing buddy you're right mate i don't remember what time i said it was when i started this but it has taken me a lot less time than i thought it's currently half past nine my vlog is up it's live it's got a thumbnail so yeah, that's day four up. Hopefully they're gonna get earlier and earlier as I get better with this. I do still need to finish my O2 vlog, but I need a shower. And I also want some shortbread and tea because I have shortbread downstairs. I've been drinking juice out of my little Christmas cup. I don't know whether I've shown you this cup. I got it in Liverpool at Asda. It's really sweet. It's got Winnie the Pooh on it and it says time for sharing. It's very sweet. As you can tell, I'm very tired. I'm back with Pete. I need to unpack. I might do that tomorrow. I need to unpack and just like put a few things away in my room. 
keep it tidy. Uh, I'm happy that all of the Christmas decorations have been done. I'll give you a proper like little tour in a little bit of the like different rooms and what we've got in them. I did the tree as you will have seen. I was getting very stressed with the lights because our Christmas tree is evil. Like it's a blue jade something. I don't know, but it's spiky. It's spiky and I'm not a fan of the spiky. I uh, now I'm gonna go downstairs and get my shortbread and tea and then probably shower. So I would show you the finished tree. It's got our little angel on the top who looks like she's got some lights up her dress. And then some of my favorite ones are these little wooden ones, which were my grandma's. Hold on, let me see if I can, there you go. There's all these like little German wooden ones. So there's some really cute ones of those. And then this one down here, there's a little Eeyore set on a present. I love that one. And back here, there is a little Robin nesting in the tree. And I think that one's so cute. I also really like these ones. We've had these for a couple of years now. And then there's Evil Santa. Who remembers Evil Santa from last year? We also have this Santa. He needs fixing though. Because his beard's coming off. And look at the amount of needles that this has dropped already. In here, my mum's got a little display out. I am going to shut these off though. Because otherwise she'll like cry about it. She hasn't eaten anything from her advent calendar today. She's got a big hotel chocolate one. It's huge. My dad's got this sweet factory one. But she's got these little hedgehogs, like Christmas hedgehogs, and these glass jars, which I'll turn off because otherwise the battery's gonna die. And then these little tea light holders. And then she's put out this little display here. I'm pretty sure this is one on springs. Yeah. And she loves this tree. I don't remember where all these things are from. I can probably ask her for you. So we've got these little things which my mum has made. She's like put them in the pots together, which I thought was just so sweet. So she's got two of these here and then she says she's going to move this one. And a little, another little hedgehog down here. And then we've got a couple of things. I love this. I think this is so nice. This is from the range last year. Um, and I'm pretty sure it lights up. And then she has two of these. And another little tea light holder, which again was from the range. And I think this lights up too. She's got another little table of joy. I also think this is cute. I'm pretty sure all these were from the range last year. A little reindeer, it's a nice little wreath, and some more reindeer. And my dad's glass that he's left there. Then in the window, she point, like, pointed this out that way, but it says, we wish you a Merry Christmas. It's very cute. And this, which Teresa kindly gave to us. And then we've got our big star in the window, which is hung with a piece of tinsel. She's got some little bits down here, little candlesticks. Another one over here. These two snowmen used to be my grandma's. And then this is my new gonk. I've called him Gozif. And then another little reindeer and a candle. I also have a new rug, which I'm loving. I don't know why, I just really like this, this like gray in here. And then this was Mitzi's new bed, but it's gonna have to be Poppy's new bed because Mitzi literally, this will not fit in my room. So, so far in the kitchen, we literally haven't put anything up, but I'm sure we will. And then, We've got this little star. Also, I've showered. <laughs> Update on my tea. I was really excited about it. And when I looked down into it, a fly had flown into my drink and died. So that was nice. So I feel like I need to redeem myself with another cup of tea. Maisie bought me this. I think it was last Christmas or something like that. Maisie bought me this, so definitely. Oh, we also have a new, um, what do you call it? Like water heater. I always thought they were called a kettle, but one of these things. We had like a really old one that was like five years old. I keep wondering what that light is out there, but my dad's got a snowflake projector onto the house. Don't ask me why. And it's very bougie. It's by Morphe Richards, which I don't know anything about like kettles or like appliances or anything like that. But I like it. I have imported most of my footage for tomorrow. So that saves me doing that and like trying to procrastinate doing it. I don't really have anything to do tomorrow, so it's not like 
I'm not going to be able to get it done because I'm travelling like I was today and even then I got it up at like half past nine. But hopefully I'll be aiming to get my vlogs up like earlier and that they will be better. Just like a little bit more interesting or just a bit more to them, like nicer editing because obviously I have been doing absolutely nothing and my brain has just been in a really foggy place. This time of year is always really hard for some people. So if you do know some people who struggle like around this time of year, or even if you don't know that they're struggling, just check in on your friends because December and January can be really tough for some people. So definitely check in with your friends. Check in with them all the time, but especially this time of year. But yeah, my brain has been super weird. So I've just kind of been chilling and spending time with Lucas. Oh this thing is so loud. I have plans to with friends in the upcoming days to Christmas because everybody's coming home from uni and people have like free time so yeah it'd be nice to see everybody I have a couple of plans for little presents for them so if I'm planning to see you expect me to get you a present it won't be anything extravagant but I have a couple of little ideas but yeah I'm gonna make this cup of tea how cute is this mug by the way super cute it's currently just past midnight I'm quite tired, which my mouth made a weird noise then. I'm quite tired, which is odd because I haven't been sleeping till like five, six o'clock in the morning, which is ridiculous. So hopefully this will help me get back into a good sleeping pattern. Also, we have a new fancy bin, which like has a sensor on it. Like I went away, I come back, literally everything in the kitchen is moved. I don't know whether you can tell, but the coffee area is like in a completely different place. I like it better here, but I'm gonna go and throw my tea bag away over here. I don't know whether you can see this. Watch the bin. Okay, now it doesn't work. Ah. And then after like eight seconds, it just shuts itself. This is a Russell Hobbs bin, I think. But how crazy is that? I mean, it's super handy. But I honestly do not know. I literally come back and there's like 7 million new gadgets. Like we have, the tortoises have moved. We have a new bin. They went and got the Christmas tree, which I'm very sad about. I hope we can go to Riggs like next Saturday or something. We have a new water heater. The kettle is gone. We have projectors onto the side of the house, projecting snowflakes. Just, everything's changing, isn't it? But... That was the plan when we moved into this house that we would like kind of renovate it and get some new appliances and stuff because in our old house because it was like half done I don't know whether you remember me saying like in my last vlogmas that the kitchen's being redone the kitchen had been being decorated for about eight years or probably even more and nobody just got around to finishing it and then when we decided we were moving we were like oh well there's no point in finishing it now when we're just going to sell it as it is so yeah our house was like constantly being worked on so we never really bought new appliances like the appliances we've had we've had for like five years plus and i mean for some things that's fine but when you use like the kettle or something else like every day and there's like one bit in the toaster that doesn't work or like something like that and I think it's time you replace it and we just never did so we're doing that now let me take you into the I like this little spot but it's cold in here I've been chatting for way too long like my vlog is going to end up being so ridiculously long I think I'm gonna carry on doing my O2 vlog tomorrow because I'm really enjoying editing that because there is no specific time frame on when it has to be up I'm really enjoying like taking my time editing it but yeah I'm feeling better and I don't know whether it's because I'm home or whether it's because like the Christmas decorations are up or I don't know because I miss Lucas a hell of a lot. I literally just asked him to come back um, on the way back from Manchester. But he has his things that he needs to do, his people he needs to see. So hopefully he'll be able to make it for Christmas. He might be coming on Christmas. Um, I'm not too sure to be quite honest because he is a working man. So we will have to see, but it would be nice. I think I'm just going to chill for now. So I'm going to end my vlog here. 
Should I get my vlog in front of the Christmas tree? Let's do that. So here I am, sat in front of my Christmas tree with Santa. Santa. And I thought I would end this vlog down here because it's just a bit cuter, isn't it? And a bit more festive. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I don't know whether I've mentioned properly, but I've linked a bunch of charities that are really important to me down in the description box. So if you are feeling giving this Christmas or you feel like doing a good deed or you just want to give a charity, then click one of the links down below and it will take you to their websites or straight to the donation pages. And yeah, Christmas is the perfect time for giving. So give what you can. If you can't give them, please just share the links wherever on your socials or anything like that because they are super important charities and I wouldn't have put them down there if they didn't mean something to me.